Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the Body Beat Down here on this Monday morning. Yeah, morning. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do part of my workout because I just kind of feel like it. Feel like getting it done. And uh, so, uh, no nap this morning. I uh, wasn't really able to nap. I got my grandkids here, and uh, my son had to run out and do something, so I kind of had to watch them. And, you know, couldn't go sleep while they're awake. So, anyhow, uh, so I'm not taking a nap right now. I might after I do this, though. So. Uh, gonna go ahead and get chest done and today is my heavy day uh, I can only go as heavy as I feel comfortable and confident with so uh, hang in here with me because you know it might not be as grand as it was last week I never know so uh, let's go ahead and get started and uh, get the chest day portion of this workout over with so hope you enjoy guys
So there we go guys, that's the first half of my workout done. Uh, you'll notice I kind of left some of that in the video, the interaction between my oldest son and myself. I went up and I asked him if he'd come down just kind of watch me uh, as I progress up in ways just in case I need him because I thought about going to 385 or maybe more uh, today. And uh, he made it abundantly clear that he don't care about what I'm doing. He thinks it's stupid. And uh, he don't want to take part in it. And uh, I shouldn't lift more than what I can lift uh, by myself. And uh, I'm not competing and all this stuff. And uh, he's not interested in anything that I'm doing. And uh, that could not be any more hurtful than you know him saying he don't care about himself or his life or anything uh, enough to take care of himself with his diabetes he don't care about his daughter enough to uh, take care of himself that was right that was on par with that this is a kid that I have raised from birth took care of from birth along with his younger brother played with fathered taught tried to mentor in some way best I could always out playing with them growing up taking them to the parks all the time I mean that's one thing even their mom says yep your dad took you guys to the parks all the time he was always out doing stuff with you I tried to be a decent dad I'm not perfect I'm an idiot like everyone else out there but I have been there for this boy I've lost so much sleep over him we have helped him and helped him and helped him and he's a 30 year old man child and we're still helping him and he don't even have enough care or respect for me to even help for five minutes in my lifts that's why i tell you that i don't have anyone to help me and uh boy it's hurtful you know uh, we parents, some of us parents, some of we parents, actually love our kids and we spent time with them and, you know, they're the most important things in the world. We love them to death. And then for a kid to turn around and just kind of say stuff like that and do the things that a lot of them do and not give a rat's butt about what they say or what they do or anything, I, I, I don't get it. If I would have had a dad in my life, which I never did, not one minute in my life. If I would have had a dad in my life that did the things that I did, growing up with these kids, playing sports with them, out there playing with them, riding bikes, and up all night long playing video games, and taking them to visit family, and letting friends stay over constantly, and them staying over at friends' houses constantly, and never missing a, a, a day in their life never missing a day in their life. If I would have had a dad like that, I would have pissed myself. I wouldn't have known what that done. But instead I had a deadbeat dad that moved on from us and over to his other family that he had. So, I don't get it. I don't understand how people can be that way. Uh, to, to those of us that have raised and taken care of them like that. And there's some of you out there that are going through that as well. And there's some of you that don't know you're going to go through it, but you will. 
because sometimes some kids grow up to be a-holes so I try to bring real life into my channel and let you see things for what they are and this is part of it and you wonder what's wrong with me sometimes uh, I've lost countless nights of sleep over this guy crying myself to sleep waking up in the middle of the night crying doing my daily walks crying choking up and you get treated like that I wake up and I make breakfast for the grandkids I make food for them I, I do stuff for people as best I can this is the world that some of us live in guys and you wonder what's wrong with some of us this would be some of what's wrong with us so ending this first part of the video on a serious note matter of fact I don't know if I'll even shoot the tricep portion later uh, guys I appreciate you all those of you that take part in my channel uh, I appreciate uh, uh, all the subscribers and all the people that aren't subscribed all of you I appreciate you and I thank you for being there for me because without some of you I don't know what I'd have to be honest sometimes it's it's lonely out here for the for some of us uh, even those of us that have been married for 30 plus years and have kids and other family members some of us are really lonely out here so anyway guys i hope i can give you some sort of positive message from this today and uh i hope the best for you and your journeys in life and i hope you don't have to suffer through these types of uh, heartaches uh, but I'm sure some of you do anyway guys please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down that's me Michael your heartbroken host and uh, get up get out your red do it to him we'll see you next time on the body beat down get up get out get red and do it do it